Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Indicator Store. And today we are going to explain how to automate signals from NINSA indicators using markers. The most, most of the NINSA indicators can be easily automated. And as we can see on this case, this indicator is the multi os Overboat oversold. And this one shows signals like this. And sometimes some indicators also include plots. And the plots can be visible or not. Pressing the middle button, you can see if the plots are visible. This is not the case. But you can go to the properties of the indicator. And sometimes, not always, the plots are visible. Here we can see that three plots are visible, those on the lower panel. And we can see that there are other plots transparent. Th those plots can be used for special uses, for example, to uh, detect the trend direction or signals. Um, the, the, this, this plot, for example, trade is the one that we can use to detect when we have a long or a short. But what happens if the indicator has no plots or we don't know how to use uh, those plots? If the only that we can access are those signals, if you double click and you get the drawing objects window, we get a list of all the objects painted on the chart. A, a drawing object is just a chart marker like this or a text object. In this case, if you double click, you can see that this is a text object with a hot pink color. The text content is this one, OB slash OS, and this triangle is a text, a text symbol, no, uh, not an object. Now, how can we automate this if we don't know how to use the plots? The easiest way is to configure markers to detect objects. So here we go to markers, turn off the fast signal mode. On the fast signal, we just type the name of the signal. But instead, we can choose which is the object to trigger a long and to trigger a short. This short signal, for example, is a text object. So for the short signals, we select text. And here is the text or part of the text that the object must contain. In this case, we can type OB slash OS, but it gets mixed with the long because it is the same on for longs than for shorts. Okay? If I type this, uh, it is the same signal for longs and shorts, but I can filter by color. So uh, writing the exact color, uh, we can double click and see which is the exact color. In this case, it is hot pink. Then we can configure markers to detect a text object with these letters OB, OB slash OS with the color hot pink. In that case, when it is detected, if that part of the text is contained, and we can also choose exact. The text must be exact. But in this case, those uh, five letters are contained in the text detector. And the same we can do for the longs. Uh, we can detect the same string, OB slash OS, but the only difference is the color. And the color of this object is Dodger, Dodge Blue. So again, we configure that color on markers here the two strings are the same 
So the only way to filter longs and shorts are by the color. This is one of the method. Now, um, this is enough, but we can also detect that triangle, but this is a letter, a, a symbol letter. So we can double click the signal and select the only part of the text that is different. And with that is enough. We can copy that and paste that in the input parameter of markers where the string for the short is that triangle to the downside. Even more, I don't need to specify the color, so I can delete the, te the, the name or just choose transparent. It doesn't matter. For the longs, we can do the same. Not interested in the color, but I only need to copy the object. This triangle to the upside. Again, don't get confused with triangle objects. Okay, in this case, this triangle is a text. And now with that is enough. So it, when it detects a text object with any color that contains a triangle to the upside, and that, that, that triangle is contained into the string. So it is going to trigger along. We can use this method uh, and we can try to test it with playback at 1 p.m. 09. 09 just a few seconds before the signal happens we select an ATM for example this one two contracts with a big target in this case uh, the target is too big so it is going to be a loser we select the account enable longs and shorts and set automatic now Clicking on playback, we can see that the signal is detected and executed. The other method is uh, if we know that the indicator has plots and we also know which is the meaning of those plots. And on this case, we know that the plot trade is useful. Here I copied all the plots of the indicator all these transparent plots, state, detection, and trade, I copied each one of them on the bottom panel. So we can find uh, where we have a signal, which one is useful. For example, this short is when trade is equal to minus one. And when we have a long trade here, for example, trade is equal to plus one. So we can use the trade plot. So in other words, uh, what I have here is just a markers copy. And we can see it is equal to 1 when we have a long, 0 when there's nothing, and minus 1. It is a markers copy, the name of the signal, and using this as a fast signal. So we can type that name in markers. Trade is now my fast signal for longs and also for shorts because there are other indicators that have a different plot for longs than for shorts. In that case, we need to copy both. In this case, the same plot is positive for longs and negative for shorts. So now on markers, I can set the fast signal mode and type the same signal name for longs and short because markers is going to decide if entering long or short according to if it is positive or negative. Now we can do another playback or continue from here. This is the 
micro of Nasdaq, so the profits are really small. We can change the instrument or increase the trade size or change the ATM. So instead of just two contracts, uh, I am going to add 50 contracts. So now we have 52. I, I need to update the ATM, clicking on the button. The ATM with the corresponding trade size. And let's see how it works. Now we can see that we have 52, but it is using 51 for the target one and only one for the target two. Uh, maybe we need to specify a better designed ATM with 50-50, no? Uh, 25 contracts on the first position and another 25 on the second position. Here we can see the last trade PNL and also the daily PNL. We can also see that info here. We can limit. We can stop trading when uh, we reach a certain PNL positive or negative. So we can limit the daily loss and daily profit. We can also limit the time. Here we can see on the parameters. Uh, here we can stop trading if we reach 500, whatever happens first. And we repeat the same interval. Now it should stop trading as soon it reach a 500 positive or 500 negative. As we can see here, it is slightly above the limit, so there are no more trades until the following day. Hope this video has been useful. As we can see, we can automate almost any signal from any indicator having or not plots. It is preferred to use plot, of course, uh, but we can automate arrows, uh, almost any object, uh, limit the um, daily PNL, the hour. On this case, we are trading 24 hours, but we can set the time to start and the time to stop, or even more, we can add two time windows. So we trade from zero to eight and then from 12 to 12 and 30, or even three time intervals so we can trade uh, on the afternoon. We can close position after the time window or close position at a certain time. So we are sure that there are no open positions after that time. As we saw, we can also limit the daily limits. And also, instead of using market orders, we can use limit or stop orders placed at a user-defined position. We can make it even more complex. We can add filters where the logic is defined by ourselves, another indicator. We can create complex signals. Uh, you can, you can uh, find on my YouTube channel a lot of videos about how to create signals, filters. For example, these same filters, these same signals can be filtered by another logic. But to avoid making it, it uh, too long, uh, you can find me on the chat room that we have on Discord. The instructions are on the description of, the, on the, of this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.